So today it's time for an album which I'm going to do because uh, it was very highly requested in a poll. But I'm going to do the first one in this kind of like series of albums by this artist called Arca or Arca, Arca, I don't know. And um, it's kind of interesting that um, it is a series of like five kicks, um, if I uh, read that correctly. And um, the most favorite one or like so many people just like wrote in my comments just like react to kick three kick three kick three that's the thing and then some people said yeah but yeah first you should maybe get some like background with maybe uh, kick one and then you can go to kick three so i just thought well all right then i'm going to do kick one first and after that kick three so also in that poll there was um in that poll it was very close there were also some um, other albums which were highly requested, I mean, of course. And because those were albums that were, were like so many times just like written in the comments. But but yeah, just be patient. Um, I get to those albums eventually uh, in the next couple of weeks, someday. You know what I mean. But right here today we're going to do Kick 1. And I'm kind of excited going to something maybe different. I heard that Arka is uh, kind of like an electronic artist, um, but um, let's read through the genius right here, the genius R contribution. Um, it's uh, her fourth studio album. Um, that's interesting. So we are not too deep into her discography. Maybe it's not a big discography or something, but in a fourth studio album is, I mean, there's some like experience in there. Drawing and genre crushing. Featuring collaboration with Björk. Oh, damn, we got Björk on here. So I kind of like to see now why people um, in my comments just kind of like the questions. So um, that's amazing. Uh, Rosalia, um, I know Rosalia. Uh, that's a very known um, artist, which also is very popular. And Sophie. Um, I mean, Rosalia also um, did an album this year, which was amazing. Um, and yeah, also Sophie we got in here. Sophie is a name that is familiar to me. Um, I seen from some productions. Is he or she a producer? I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah. Um, and sees Arca exploring her multi faceted personalities. That's amazing. With the release of the second single, Time, Arca officially re uh, reveals the track listing and artwork of Kick 1. The album was leaked on a Portuguese chat service and so on. Yeah, sure. Um, the new tracks introduce a cleaner and more defined sound with special features from avant-garde Icelandic songwriter Asimbeo. We got that. Um, Spanish singer-songwriter Rosalia. And stylized as KRK on Scottish producer. A Scottish producer, that's uh, interesting. Sophie. So yeah, we got that right here. And the reason why Kick 1 is called Kick 1 is because of the prenatal kick. It's the first instance in which an unborn child manifests its will in a way that's irrevocably distinct from the parents. Oh, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> so that's why there are some more kicks than just one. Um, but yeah, let's see what this album will got for us right here. The cover looks uh, pretty interesting also. Um, so I guess we should get into this one right here. Uh, we got 12 tracks, but it's not a long album though. And the first track is called Non-Binary. So let's listen, let's get into it. I do what I wanna do, when I wanna do it. I check out the bags to prove it. Hips to move it around and make shapes, yes. Trim the waist off, and the waist down, girl, it slipped off. It's French tips wrapped around a dick. Do you wanna taste? I don't give a fuck what you think. You don't know me. Cause you're not dealing with, there's no deal, it's just real on my side. Go ahead, speak for yourself, go ahead, speak for yourself. Cast the first stone, speak for yourself, state, speak for yourself, state, speak for yourself, self, state, you'll see it. State, speak for yourself, state. What an interesting track. It straight goes into some like heavy electronics and hard hitting percussion on this one right here. It's amazing. Well, this one sounds uh, like with those kicks. Um, I guess it makes sense. Um, 
<laughs> as a first track maybe um but yeah also um it's a really interesting sound it's something i rarely hear something really outside of music stuff kind of if you know what i mean i mean not outside of music but um very experimental electronic stuff and almost industrial also um damn interesting also the songwriting um it's pretty interesting going to this one right here but um i do what i want to do do when i want to do it i got the bags to prove it hips to move it around and make jays yes i guess it's also like in kind of like the um, concept of being non-binary maybe i guess um in that sense just like speak for yourself states and if you want to be a puppet be a puppet <laughs> i guess also um go ahead speak for yourself because you're not dealing with there is no deal it is the real my side sure interesting let's move on <laughs> I also like the last couple of bit right there. What a treat it is to be non binary. Mashari, the bitch. That was kind of funny. I don't know why. Also, it's tee -hee. Um, But, anyways. <laughs> A uh, fun track, a weird track, the instrumentals at the end uh, are alright, they didn't, didn't really grab me or something, but I guess it's the first track. It maybe doesn't want to like uh, hit you into the face with like, what the hell is this stuff maybe. Um, but I guess for that it makes sense to be a first track, but um, for that I enjoyed this track. Um, not blew me away, I, uh, help, I can't speak English. Not blew me away, but still it's a great one, uh, give this one a 7. So let's see how this how we will move on with the next track, which is called Time. It's the same track. Let's listen. Some beautiful sounds on this one. First, it kind of like um, sounds really like synth poppy style in this like a really jumpy beat almost. Um, and those little like plugs on this one are amazing, those synth plugs. Um, and it's time to let it out. It show the word, take this time, it's all yours. It's kind of like uh, coming out, if you know what I mean. But uh, it's an amazing sound on this one right here. Like these. Um, weirdly reverb chimes is um, are amazing and also got this like really industrial almost like reverb sound but it's a really um, gentle one right here it's a nice track it's a soothing track also smooth while it has some like directness about it and it's a fun one right here so far but let's see how this one will end up <laughs> Also really nice and I mean at the end it like it doesn't evolve into anything like a really big or something it kind of like ends up with just like your simple plugs at the end there's some bass sometimes coming in some like really nice deep bass um, but yeah this track overall right here is a really nice one and a soothing one right here and it's so smooth with those chimes and so on it's a really well produced track and also mixed um, really had fun with this one down it's like interesting how this one is so abrasive so far from the first and second track but also so smooth with those really nice industrial sounds um it's nice i give the one an eight yeah so let's move on with the next track which is called i guess um, I'm, I, I'm sorry i don't i'm not good in spanish really so anyways let's listen Ella no toma taxi, que la vean, que la vean en la calle. Ella no toma taxi, ni Uber, ni Lyft. 
que la vean. Ni quieren que la vean. Ni What an intense track. Um, I like how it first like really has this like really fun voice uh, and also talking about like taxi, Uber and Lyft. That's um, the only words I'm busting right there. Um, I guess I should pull up my uh, translator right here, but um, um, I hope the lyrics are not too um, important for this hour right here or like for this track also. But it's a fun one and um, the injustice sound on this um, chorus right here I guess is amazing um, that's like some really heavy like percussion sound it's like some um, really weird deconstructed stuff going maybe into some industrial also and it's something like besides that maybe also um, I don't know if this would go into the hyper pop direction but so far I would say no um, but let, let's listen to this track and finish up yeah, I mean, it's a fun one. It ends kind of like weird with some like really weird experimental kind of like sounds and little vocal chops also maybe. Um, it's a little bit weird how that one ended right there, but I mean it's a short track and for that it got so much going on, so much put into this one. And that's like really great and I love stuff like that. Um, right here just like the sound on this chorus right here is just like really catchy and also it got a little bit of a like a reggaeton like um, tempo, maybe some like 105 BPM or something like that. But, but it's a um, great sound right here also and something like really abrasive and that stuff but it's also like really catchy this stuff right here damn i really like that but yeah i also give the one an eight great so let's move on to the next track which is called rikiki let's listen <laughs> Una rosa blanca de metal de tal pa' cual que tal Mira la chupal, la beba de un mango bajito Un mene 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 adito Chiquitito, sabrosito, riqui There's like so much right here going on like this is like some heavy stuff it's like some really like if you take some like really small ideas and snippets and you just like stop it in one track and makes it like work this right here is like beautiful and heavy production right here um i guess like the producer must like uh, really sit on this one like for ages um like there's so much detail it's amazing and it's so much going on uh, you just like get um, like punched in the face with just like um, heavy production on this track right here. But for that, I really enjoy this one. Um, I really love this part right here. Loving the fear, loving the fear, fear and the fear and the out. And it's so fast and really catchy in this chorus. A regenerated like uh, degenerate to generate heat in the light. Love in the face of fear and so on. Like this part right here was really nice. Before that, it's a little bit um, off-putting sometimes and uh, way too weird, especially this part right here. But then it goes into this chorus and then you're like, ah, and you get the reason of kind of. And for that, this track makes sense and it's really a fun one. But let's see how this one will end up. Yeah. 
It's also really glitchy and that stuff like sometimes you come in but you uh, if you like really concentrate on just like the way like the tempo is one this one um, if I saw that correctly it uh, jumps between seven, um, 70 BPM and 140 it's pretty fast for that um, it kind of like is in the almost like the um, um, in the kind of like direction of like sonic beats and for that this one really makes sense but it changes up in between like the 70 also for example like at the end right here as an outro it makes sense to get the tempo a little bit down and that is beautifully made how it just like she stops and gets in and like beats from everywhere and you can hear the sound like coming from the left side and the right side and then it hits you in the face and it's like so unpredictable and heavy and that makes this production really nice I mean, I love my um, kind of like EDM, IDM production and I really love to get into stuff like that um, because I love ambient production and I love producing ambient music. Right here, this is not ambient, you know what I mean? It's more like glitch uh, and industrial and deconstructed stuff into that maybe. Uh, but yeah, for that it makes sense. And this one is right here, really enjoyable for me. Um, I'll give the one an alternate. Really consistent so far. Really nice. Um, so let's see what the next track will do, which is called Cut Off. Well, this goes into straight other directions right here and it's a heavy and beautiful full sound like um the way these like pianos are really in the back and reverbed and hold are a beautiful move right here on this track to get a lot of space for different stuff especially the beautiful vocals on this track which is really beautiful also like in this transition going into like uh, um also like opera kind of like singing and that's like top tier stuff right here and really enjoyable um so far maybe my favorite track right here and like there's so much to pull into or out this one right here great let's listen a little bit more Yeah, also how it ended with these like really beautiful um, synths right there at the end and those like fading drums is amazing and it's a very different sound from all the other tracks we had before this one right here but it's a beautiful approach on this one and some really beautiful electronics right here it gets some like really nice sound um, that you could also use in some stuff going into maybe like some like um, artsy stuff in that sense and it's in a beautiful approach and um i can't even explain even it's not ambient it's not um something like that um but gotta tell you it's beautiful um yeah i give this one a nine it's a great one damn so let's see how this will move on into the next track which is called afterwards featuring Björk, the queen Björk. let's listen <laughs>
What a beautiful track right here. I um, really like the previous one, but right here we even get more beautiful um, vocals right here. So Björk's, um, Björk's um, beautiful approach on like getting some like heavy singing across and like some really high and stretched tones. It's like some really different stuff. And I also um, saw that the one album by Björk, I guess it was Atopia, also is um, co-produced by Akka and that's um, I mean, some like give and take and take and give and stuff like that stuff right here. And um, I'm really looking forward also to that uh, if we get to that after World Nikura. Um, but right here in this album afterwards, it's a beautiful approach into something like that would also work really well for some work albums with some of these really nice beats in the background. Like, yeah, some of these tops right here and this um, heads are a little bit more like noised and like stretch and uh, the backing like um, ambience and texture is really nice on this one more, more bassy and like low textured but it's amazing right here and on this track right here and has some like really nice sound but i was like also thinking about this one what what is this but i mean let's move on But at the end we come into these like beautiful Arcus um, vocals also and the way it is kind of like implemented into this track besides those Björk so it's like really like a double S sort going into maybe this like really high tone voice of Björk and then the uh, more like mid tone voice by Arca is amazing. But then the um, instruments just kind of like change up into a more like a reserved way and not a direct way but this track right here. It's a beautiful approach of this sound, and I really enjoyed this one. Uh, I give the one an 8. Also really great. Damn. So let's move on with the next track, which is called Watch, featuring Shigo. Let's listen. Too hot for the night. I'm just kind of even at right. Two shots on a guy in my height. Roll talk past rage. I forget you don't know that I move like this. Low key, roll shady. A great electronic um, track right here, which has these like beautiful like rating sound and it's like some like really heavy synths on this one like here um, or leads uh, would call them like that in some more like EDM way. Um, but this right here is a really catchy track. The drums are amazing. It's more like, like some like instant snares or something. There's not something like that. Um, there are just like some like percussions and heads thrown in there and make something out of it in this like mist of like um and drums and it's an amazing to use it something like that um there are also like always some experimentation in like the back as some like textures like maybe some sound effects sometimes uh, some feedback here and there or just like some filters there's always something to get into right here and i will tell you it's going to be fun to listen to this one more like deeply and stuff like that but let's move on
Watch is an instrument um, uh, really like heavy track, but I can't tell you like when the feature by Shaikul is right there or it's a, a producer. I don't, I'm not really sure. But um, like it's a great track right here that is like really great in sound. It's instant synths and leads right here on this track right here. And yes, there are some stairs. I first didn't even hear them because it's like so much going on. But like also the snares are more in the back and not something like on the like um, a two and four to get something like heavier across right here. But it's a really like fun one and um, it's one of my favorites on this one so far. So I give this one a, something between an eight and a nine. Really great. So let's move on. Jeez. So let's move on with the Rosalia track right here on this album has right here. And it's an amazing one probably. I mean, Rosalia never did anything wrong so far in her career so far. Um, but let's see what this one is right here. Let's listen. It's some of the best reggaeton I've ever heard in some 95 like BPM. It's like some really great stuff right here going into some like really catchy stuff on those sims like did 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 is amazing. And um, the verses right here by like um, Rosalia are something like um, really nice. I mean Rosalia is uh, like an artist in the like, reggaeton stuff that is not always like on beat. But um, she has such a like a intoxicating voice that it like always like um, just works in a way. I don't know why. Um, but let's see what the Arca versus right here will do. So let's listen. <laughs> This is also so progressive, like it progresses into some like different styles almost and like there's so many rises like right here this rise that like, like builds like uh, since like 20 seconds is that like, building and building and building while like uh, the whole track is just like it's this claustrophobic like insane beat and just like overall production and it's an amazing one right here also um, I really enjoy this one a lot. Um, like also it's just like so minimal like this uh, rom -pom -pom and so on I don't know but it just works in that sense like it's um, like not like songwriting and big brain move or something like and oh yes she says like rom -pom -pom, it's like so much behind the no it's like just like really straight up like fun um, stuff right here and this one right here is my favorite so far almost I, I gotta tell you <laughs> So yeah, there was a track, a KLK, um, that's a, like a heavy bang right here. Um, I don't think I have anything huge to add to that track right here besides that this one is just like a 10 straight up. Um, just one of the best reggaeton um, tracks I've ever heard so far. And yeah, this one was fun. Uh, yeah. Didn't expect anything uh, less than that, to be honest. But let's see what the next track will do, which is called Rips the Slit. Let's Yeah. 
like the most like intoxicating songwriting on this one right here not the lyrics just like the way this one just like adds up with these like um, pitched vocals and it's like so intoxicating with those like um, this beat uh, it's so fast but it's also so fun and there comes like in some like uh, backing kind of like counter melodies also into this one and it's just like a great beat right here all over and um I don't know why, but it just like makes me feel like in, in such a way weird and that it could also be like some hyper pop, but not straight into it. Um, it's something in between, maybe some like deconstructed uh, stuff, maybe sometimes going into industrial, but right here it's something different, maybe just like glitch pop. I should just call it like that. Pitched up glitch pop, there we go. But it's an amazing one right here. It's a fun one. It's straight up like um, goes into like heavy um, beat making and it's a lot of fun. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> I wish that in the end it would evolve into some like more like interesting sides, but then it just like um, takes out the drums and then moves just on with like um, the feedback of those and then just like the same vocals over and over. And that uh, the vocals are not the problem right there, but just like that it's not taking us anywhere else. Just like the same kind of like structure from the beginning. Um, kind of like well okay and that but still it is a fun one right here and I mean, give the one a 7 still so let's move on with the next track which is called La Chiqui this is a track featuring Sophie Lou let's see <laughs> Really interesting track. Um, I'm wondering what Sophie did on this track. Um, if it's something like more of these like a vocal stuff or maybe just like production, because like the way that Arco like produces her own vocals is like so different every time and um, has such a different tone that it could be like anything on this track right here. To be honest, it could be the snare. No, just kidding. But yeah, it could be anything like that, and that makes this um, production just really really interesting. And just like Miss Manella, 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 I can't even do that. This is like so fast and so interesting and um, this whole track has this like really like um, a direct kind of like feeling and it makes this track really good right here and I love this one. It's not like um, catchy but it's just like and like heavy and so overblown but yeah let's see how this one will end. <laughs> Elijah Shiki is a just like a very heavy track on this one right here. Um, almost like very like disrupting. It's like so intense. Also at the end there are some like background textures that's just like really like on these high notes and start really like stabs you. And uh, that's like right, some great stuff right here and great production also. Uh, I'm feeling somewhere between an 8 and a 9 on this one. Great track. Damn. 
It's almost so all over the place and I love it. Um, so let's see what the next track will do, which is called Majorte, maybe. Let's listen. Like, what are these, like, beautiful strengths on this track? Like, very different and very different styles on this one. It's a little bit too much all out of a place, like, with those different vocal styles. But it's a beautiful one with those, like, strings. But let's see, I guess uh, we had the half of this track. And um, there are so many interesting things. Um, I guess, like, sometimes the uh, kind of, like, the um, drums are a little bit too dry on this track, like, besides all over like the other tracks on this album so far, but let's see how this one will end up. <laughs> I also really like those little synths at the end right here um, that are like rising and going down again and something in between that. Um, the way this track like um, outros is pretty perfect. Um, but yeah, um, there's some like mancos on that one still. But I think this one was still great. Like those strings were top tier on this one. There's something between the seven and eight for this track right here. Um, nice. So let's see what the last track will do right here which is called No Queda Nada. Let's listen. No queda nada ni Si no ti Tu Denegrado Tu calor by far longest track it's um, like almost double as long as like the most tracks on this album and it's a beautiful one those drums are amazing but like beside that the vocals are some of the best vocal performances on, on this whole album so far like it's so brief it's so like um intense but also has this like really nice feeling to it that really grabs right here on this track right here and there are some like backing instrumentation that just like straight up just works as a texture support so far but let's see if there's like some like um, basic melodies coming and something like that I, I don't know but we'll see <laughs>
I mean that track really did all of it uh, um, all what an uh, outro should do but besides that is one of the most beautiful produced electronic uh, tracks in that um, I would call it like lich pop but this is like so almost like ambient pop like a uh, pop like the texture in the back are amazing and the main part right there at the chorus is some of the best releases I've ever heard so far in like a music like this like this one right here is a masterpiece and just like building up and having a beautiful like vocal melody in that um, and, and it's also just like the main part of this track right here but there's really something so satisfying about just the sound also at the end and this one right here blew me away as a last track and damn um, yeah that one was a 10 as a last track what a what a release on this one um really in love with this one wow like just the way that it came in in this um, like really like noise sims at the myth section then like just grows into a really nice soothing track that's really want to, what i wanted for this album right here hollow to end it so yeah that was kick one um beautiful album really different so much different um, aspects of like electronic and just like really fucked up kind of like genres and that it has like like glitch industrial like heavy reggaeton something like that um i mean i read that she has some like venezuelan roots and that um and that's like some amazing stuff we really right here what she like put into this um the features were really nicely um sought out like yeah Buryak and rosalia also the shy girl feature not to forget that was really nice um and sophie also on the production side maybe like going into straight up some like really nice stuff right here on this track and list and it's all over the place and nice um but yeah i will listen to this one a little bit more i got some time and to really like digest um this album well it's a short album there's a lot to digest because like every track is so full blown in just like two minutes and that's the thing that's really appreciated in music um but yeah, um, see you then. I'm back with Arca, Kick One. Uh, really fun album, electronic album to make, make any different, like a brace of things and just like a fun album. Um, I wouldn't say it is like some like uh, peak stuff. I kind of like um, first like kind of like um, anticipated on this one. Like, but to be honest, this is like some of the best material I've heard in some of those like very experimental electronic um, genres because I listened to some electronic genres but not to all um especially um albums like these or like uh, that get this sound like this album for example i'm not listening to that quite as much as um maybe some like other genres in electronic music but uh, to be honest this one was a lot of fun the, um, this kind of like opened my eyes into the uh, wide world of like a glitch and deconstructed and so much other things uh, for example my favorite track on this album klk featuring rosalia on that one that was like that one was just like incredible um the best reggaeton track and beat i've heard in years uh, or ever maybe also because reggaeton is a kind of like a tone which is pretty repetitive and kind of like uh, very predictable in sound overall, if you know what I mean. But that one right there wasn't at all like that. Um, it was a great one and I really enjoyed that one. There were so many other tracks also, like for example, La Chiquilla featuring Sophie, No Queda Nada Da, um, Time, um, Afterwards. Uh, there were so many tracks that were like very addicting to just listen to and they were so short. That's also um, a strength of this album. The, uh, the tracks are not long. You really get like um, instant to this track, like bam, here's a track, here's a, be here's a beat, here are my little different directions into like, the sound. Um, and I love how sometimes it's just like very catchy, sometimes very dreamy, sometimes very um, straightforward, um, and sometimes um, pretty like far in the back and just like all the mixing and reverby and so on. But sometimes also really abrasive and heavy and really catchy. For example, like Rips is Lit, um, with, like just like repeating the lyrics, repeating the lyrics, Rips is Lit, Rips is Lit, but it's just like so heavy and fast and just like so much fun. While it's not maybe the most clearest um, track on this album so far. Oh, on this one on the first kick but yeah um i'm looking forward to kick three but on kick one right here i'm feeling a strong seven to a light eight so 
I had a lot of fun with this one. This was very different. And really uh, looking forward how much she will evolve until kick uh, three. And I've also read that like the kick series um, was there was first like 2020 the kick one. And after that 2021 she just like dropped um, in like um, such a fast way um, these other four kicks um, or like f um, three kicks I'm not really sure but that's uh, really interesting on this one right here um, and I'm really looking forward to kick three um, I don't know if I kind of have to do also the other kicks but you can let me know in the comments and stuff like that but still um, I'll see you then